Today we're going to do a little chainsaw carving and make a geometric coffee table. We salvaged these giant wooden columns out of an old brick building in Boston Seaport District. I thoroughly inspected the piece and removed any nails or screws that were stuck in it. I sketched out a rough design with a sharpie on the wood. I used my 40 volt electric chainsaw to start cutting off pieces. It felt like the piece was a little too close to the ground, so I built up a few layers on top of the dolly to raise it up. This made it a lot easier to cut off pieces. I got to try out a new tool for this project. It's called the Turbo Plane. Now they're not a sponsor, but I had seen it in some other videos and wanted to try it out. It's actually pretty cool. It attaches to an angle grinder and it's really aggressive. You can really remove a lot of material very quickly. The first side of the table was starting to take shape and I was ready to flip it over and get to work on the other sides. I wanted a faceted geometric look, so I alternated between cutting off big chunks with the chainsaw and then shaping out smaller facets with the angle grinder and turbo plane. I then used a belt sander with 60 grit belts to shape the facets and remove any of the weather damage that had occurred to the wood. This was the longest part of the process. I probably spent about two hours sanding it and went through about eight to ten belts. The beams had been sitting outside for a couple years and had some weather damage since I didn't have a place inside to store them. We used a palm sander with 220 grit paper to do the finished sanding. These wooden columns were made from giant pine trees and they're incredibly heavy. This one weighs about 300 pounds. There were some large cracks in the wood, so I used my kiwi to carve down the edges of those cracks a little bit. We then wiped off all the sawdust and then finished the piece with a coat of Danish oil. I stuck some felt pads on the bottom side so that I could slide the piece around. I really liked the way it looked, but I was a little worried that some of the large cracks would collect dust and possibly even snack crumbs. So I decided to try and fill up some of the largest cracks with resin. I used painter's tape to protect the surface of the table. I then mixed a clear tabletop resin and then poured it into the cracks. In general, I don't like sort of resins and polyurethanes and things like that. I like wood to feel like wood. So I didn't want to fill them all the way up flush to the surface. Instead, I filled up the cracks so that they're about just an eighth of an inch shy of the surface. This way the table still had real texture that came from the cracks, but it was easy to still wipe it down and get dust out of them. This was a really fun project and is one of the ones I'm actually going to keep for myself. I'm super excited about carving up the rest of the pieces that I salvaged as well. For more detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm working on next. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.